Lambert is a bit error rate testing application that transmits IEEE 802.3 data frames over the LAN media and measures the number of frames sent, received, lost, and errored. This application is useful when verifying if existing network cabling will support the desired data rates or testing new cabling after installation. The Landbird application runs a loopback test on fiber and copper media using either a second device acting as a loopback endpoint or a physical loopback plug. The loopback device may be a CyberScope, an EtherScope NXG, or a LinkRunner 10G. In this video, I'll be using an EtherScope NXG as the Landbird generator and a LinkRunner 10G as the Landbird loopback. When running the Landbird test, it is important to have the generator and loopback devices at each end of the physical link. The test will not run properly if both devices are connected to a switch. This could result in the test packets being flooded out to the entire Layer 2 network. The Landbird test uses the wired test port on the top of the unit and supports both copper and fiber connections. For this video, I've connected a Category 6A cable between the EtherScope NXG and the LinkRunner 10G. Before running the test, I need to put the LinkRunner 10G into loopback mode. This is accomplished by tapping on the menu icon in the upper left corner of the screen and selecting Landbert loopback. Before we move on to the EtherScope NXG, let's look at the settings available when running Landbert in loopback mode. Tapping on the settings icon displays the available settings. In this case, link speed is the only configurable setting. It is recommended that this be left as auto. When set to auto, the Landbert generator and loopback devices will automatically negotiate the highest supported speed. I'll tap back and then tap start to start the loopback device. Now I'm ready to move over to the EtherScope NXG, which is running the Landbert generator. Tapping on the settings icon will display the available Landbert generator settings. As with the loopback device, it's best to leave speed set to auto. If there is a specific speed you need to test, you may tap speed and select the speed. If the generator and loopback are not able to establish a connection at this speed, the test will fail. Frame size sets the size of the Ethernet frames transmitted by the generator. You may select one of the presets or enter a custom value. Since the object of this test is to stress the network, Using the default of 64 bytes will generate the greatest number of frames sent during the duration of the test. Duration sets the duration of the test. It may be set between 10 seconds and 24 hours using any of the available presets. I'll leave it at one minute. Grading type determines whether counts or percentages will be used to evaluate the results against the thresholds. Both counts and percentages are shown on the results screen. Error threshold sets the pass-fail threshold for the number of errored frames received during the test. Errored frames are those frames received with an invalid frame check sequence value. This value should be set to reflect the expectations of the physical network connection. Setting this to disable turns off grading of errored frames. Loss threshold sets the pass-fail threshold for the number of frames that are transmitted but not received. As with the error threshold, this may be set to one of the preset values, a custom value, or disabled. Now that I've finished the configuration, I'll tap back and then tap start to begin the test. At the top of the screen, the Landbird app will display the interface used for the test and the link speed and duplex negotiated by the generator and loopback devices. The test duration, start time, and current status are displayed. When the test completes, the status will indicate whether the test was successful or failed. Below this are the frame totals. This displays the number of frames transmitted and received by the generator. This is followed by the number of errored and lost frames. For the errored and lost, both the counts and percentages are displayed. Severe lost seconds indicate the number of seconds where the frame loss was greater than or equal to 1% for one second. The graph below the frame total shows the aired frames over time. The slider below this graph may be used to zoom in and zoom out of the time frame. 
Tapping on the graph, holding and sliding allows you to move back and forth across the time frame. If the test tool has been claimed to link live, you may tap on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and then tap Upload to Link Live or Upload Graphs to Link Live. Thank <laughs> you.